Hey Scorpio, it is Ashley here with Fire Intuition. I am here to do your love reading for the second half of December. This is going to be for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, also Venus. This is general. Please only take a resonance with you, my love. So let's hop in, Scorpio, and let it be great, of course. Let's see what's going on with Scorpio. If I do resonate with you guys, please do like, share, comment, subscribe. Hit that bell so that you guys are notified when I do upload future content. And if you guys would love to book a personal reading with me, fireintuition.com. Alrighty. Sending you guys lots of love. Happy holidays. Merry Christmas to you all that celebrates. I hope it's nothing but amazing for you all. But let's talk in Scorpio. Let's see what's going on with you guys in love. Let's see Scorpio. All right, Scorpio. So when it comes to the heart of the matter for Scorpio. Heart of the matter for Scorpio. Four of Swords. The person you're dealing with in their current energy towards you. Three of Cups in reverse. Where their mind is at. Eight of Pentacles. Their current feelings towards you, the fool. What they want from you, five of cups in reverse. What is yet to unfold, queen of cups in reverse. Potential outcome, ace of cups. At the bottom of the deck, we do have the ace of pentacles followed by the ten of swords. Alrighty. So Scorpio, I do feel like this is something that you wanted. You want to be in a committed relationship with someone. Someone could be friend zoning you, Okay. Or it's just, you know, strictly friends with benefits. They could be in a relationship already. Or you are wanting this person to make and put effort into, you know, being in a relationship with you. All right. Um, it looks like there was a third party. Okay. And I feel like you guys took a break from this whole situation. And you're like, I'm not going to be in a third party. I'm not going to do the friends with benefits. Or, you know, like, like, why do you keep friends on me? You keep saying that you love me. You care about me. But you don't want a relationship. You don't want to commit. You know, there's something like that going on. Let's see. The Magician Nine of Wands. You've been through a lot with this person. Okay? So, yes, you have been with a lot, through a lot with this person. But it's like... The Magician is there. Like, you still want this, though. Four of Wands. Nine of Wands. The Devil. Yeah, for... Um, and I don't want to say it like this, but Scorpio, for some of you guys, you know this person is married or... You know this person lives with someone or you know they're in a relationship and you know it's just like sex. Okay? It's like they come see you, yes. But you know like after it's all said and done, not a wands, four wands, they're going back to their committed relationship. You know they're going back to their marriage or the person that they live with or the person that they're committed to. Okay? And that's how you always have mixed feelings or it's like this person comes back in only for you to just, you know, because the Queen of Cups is the reverse and that's what's, yet, that's what's yet to unfold and you're just like, fuck, like how can you do this to me again? Why do you keep doing this to me? Why do you keep playing with my emotions? Why do you keep playing with my feelings and my emotions? Why do you keep doing this? Why do you keep doing that? Why do you keep making me feel like this? You know? So I feel like whoever this is, Scorpio, it's like, you already know how this person rolls. All right? Is what I'm getting. Okay? You already know. King of Cups is at the bottom of the deck in reverse as soon as I picked up the deck. All right? Both you guys can be in relationships with other people. Oh, let's see what your overall energy is with the Romance Angels for Scorpio. But it's like this person keeps friends on you, okay? And it's like you're you're waiting for them to offer this commitment. But the Ten of Swords, it's like they keep saying, oh, we're just going to be friends. I can only be friends. Or like it's like, and you're texting this person. Look, she has her cell phone. You are texting this person. And it's just like, I feel like every time you ask them, it's like you get hurt or it's just not what you were expecting. But we're going to see. Scorpio, what is overall energy for Scorpio? In love, second half of December. Let go of control issues and we have love yourself first, okay? So we have let go of control issues and we have love yourself first, all right? I feel like you really wanted to make this work or you really want to be with this person or you really wanted to be with them. Uh oh. And then we have release your ex, okay? Calling in your soulmate. You keep calling this person in, but the universe is telling you that you need to release this person. They're trying to bring a new love or the universe is trying to bring a new love for you. That would be a true love, okay? Or you may feel like this person is your true love. You may feel like there's true love here. All right, but let's see how this is all going to play out, Scorpio, okay? Because I, I don't know. I just feel like someone is just trying to play games. I feel like someone keeps, like, you know, friends on you guys or keeps saying, like, oh, you know, 
let's just leave the situation the way it is. And, you know, I have a girl, you know, I'm with somebody. Look, seven of swords at the bottom. You know, I'm married or, you know, I'm in this situation. But it's like, I don't know, I feel like they're leading you on. I'm playing mind games with you. All right. So let's see. Four of swords. This is the heart of the matter, Scorpio. Let's see. Four of Swords, heart of the matter. We have Seven of Pentacles. We have the Six of Wands. And we have the Wheel of Fortune. Okay? So, yeah, you've been waiting. You're waiting for something to move forward. You're waiting. You're, it's like you're waiting. Okay. You're waiting to become exclusive or you're waiting to move forward with this person. You're waiting for this relationship to go or turn in your favor. It's like you're waiting... It's, I'm not trying to say like you're waiting your turn, but I feel like Scorpio, you guys know the situation behind this and it's like you're waiting. You're like waiting for something to happen or waiting for something to come together is what I'm getting, okay? Go to the Wheel of Fortune. Look, see, Five of Pentacles, Reverse, Five of Swords. All right, you're waiting for things to get better. You're waiting for things to change, but it's like with the Five of Swords, you also know that this person is on some bullshit. You know, they played some mind games. You know, they, you know, put in your head or they said some shit. Um, or it's just like, I just, I feel like you already know, Scorpio. I feel like you know what this person is up to and what they're all about. But I also feel like you love this person and you want to be with this person. So it's kind of like, it's kind of hard for you to walk away and you keep giving into it. That's all. That's what I'm seeing. I'm going to be honest. Okay. So let's see. Three of Cups is in reverse. And this is their energy, their current energy towards you. So of course, third party situation for a lot of you guys. Five of Three of Cups in reverse. The two of wands reverse. They're not making a decision about you. The two of cups are reverse. They may be telling you that they're unhappy or not happy in a relationship um, that they're in. The empress, but they're not leaving that empress. The empress may have their children. The empress may be pregnant with their children. Or is it telling me like they have children with somebody, a wife, or they live with someone? Okay, it could be a Libra or a Taurus. But it's like there's a third party relationship here. And it's kind of like I said, Scorpio, like you know this person isn't going anywhere. Like you, like, you know, like, they're not going to leave their person is what I'm saying. Let's see how the Empress is here. Ace of Wands, the Lovers, Judgment. Yeah, like, for some of you, I mean, like I said, I'm keeping it real, Scorpio. For some of you guys, there is a third party. You guys have been messing around for years. You guys have been back and forth with each other. One minute you're in a relationship, and then you're not, and then you're dealing with them. Or, like I said, both of you guys are in relationships, but... They have someone in their life that they're not letting go of. And they, like I said, they have children with them. They're still having sex with that person. They're still intimate with that person. Judgment is here. So, and there's a child here. So it's telling me like at the end of the day, they're going to choose their family or their children over this relationship or that may be what's in the way of you guys coming together. But I do honestly feel like you know that Scorpio. You know this. All right. Let's see. We have the eight of pentacles here. And this is where their mind is at. Let's see. Eight of Pentacles. So they could be working a lot lately. Seven of Swords. It's been hard for them to sneak off or get away. Eight of Pentacles is here. Seven of Swords. Someone must be working from home, watching them. Because we have the Seven of Swords. And we have the Eight of Pentacles. So someone could be working from home, watching their every move. Because, like, you see there's a bay window, okay? And you can see outside. And it's the Eight of Pentacles. And someone's working from home. So it's like their person is watching them. Or their person has their eye on them. Oh, that was loud. Their person could be watching them or have an eye on them, their eyes on them. You know, with the seven of swords, they might be trying to, you know, just do little sneaky stuff. Like, oh, I need to run to the store. Oh, I need to do this. Oh, I need to do that. But it's like someone is on their back, like watching them. They're watching their every move, okay? Yep, see, the four of cups. And I feel like you kind of feel rejected by this person. Yeah, their, their, their relationship partner, whoever they live with or whatever situation they're in, they're watching them. But... It's like you're waiting to hear from them. You're waiting for them to come through with an offer. Or some of you guys, this person told you that they were going to come over, show up, and they have it. And it's because they don't want to get caught in their traps. But let's see. Four of Cups. Ace of Wands reverse. Yep. See? And you just feel like they're either not interested or not putting energy into seeing you. For some of you guys, you guys booked a room or did, like, you know, told them you guys were going to meet up. You lost out on some money. Or they told you they were going to pay you back because they didn't show up. Yeah, you guys are supposed to reconnect or, you know, meet up, hook up, and that didn't go as planned. Okay, because like I said, someone is watching them. Someone is watching their every move. All right? Um, and I, like I said, you just feel friend zoned by this person. Let's see, the fool is here.
Let's see, we have a pull in here. Oh shit, you guys know I don't take cards from the ground. The current feelings towards you with the fool. Let's see. Nine of Cups reverse. Okay. So this is someone that's selfish, thinking about themselves. All right. The Emperor. Three of Swords. All right. They're going to come in wanting to communicate, wanting to talk to you. And you think that this conversation is going to be about commitment. And it's not. Or it's like. Three of Swords and the Emperor, they're like, you know, my situation, I'm torn, it's complicated. And I just feel like you guys are just tired of hearing that shit, okay? Um, the Emperor is not leaving this Empress, okay? And I don't feel like that Emperor and the Empress is you guys. And I'm not looking at it as the Divine Masculine, Divine Feminine Energy. I'm looking at it as, for some of you guys, both you guys are in committed relationships or marriages. And you guys want to be with this person. Or both you guys are just in committed relationships where you, this could be the father of your child or... Like, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you have children with someone, they have children with someone, and you guys just both want to be together. But it's, again, complicated. Or, for some of you guys, the emperor is not leaving this empress, and it's just a bullshit situation, and they're friend-zoning you, or they're leading you on, and they're not giving you what you want, and they keep doing this shit. And that's why it says, like, well, control about the situation to unfold naturally. But I feel like with you, Scorpio, it's like you want things to go your way, or you want something to go in your favor, and it's not. And the universe is saying, like, let it go. I feel like the universe is also trying to bring you guys someone better or bring something better in for you guys, right? I'm using my fire intuition oracle deck to clarify. If you guys would like to um, purchase my new deck, you guys can do so on my website, mytearsapphealmyheart.com. The link to purchase my deck will also be pinned in the comments below. So let's see, Scorpio. Scorpio. Let go of control issues. Control issues for Scorpio. Let's see. So we have Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. So there can be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn that you're dealing with. All right. And the other, I knew your ass was lying. Okay. And maybe this person is your divine masculine. Now you feel like this person is your divine masculine. Okay. And then we have so you're talking to someone else. Okay. Then I tell you, Scorpio, at times you may talk to other people. But you guys always reconnect or always hook up. But this person is in a committed relationship or is just telling you like your divine masculine is talking to someone else. And they have not left that person or they're not leaving that person right now to be with you. And you guys, like I said, they're leading you on or you're, just, you're not getting the commitment. You're not getting what you want because we have love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantic. Oh, makes you more romantically attractive. So I feel like you guys are needing to cut this person off, Scorpio. Okay, or telling them no. All right, are just taking some time. All right, you may have good intentions. All right, Scorpio, when it says I love, I um love yourself first. You may have good intentions, but it's telling me like your intentions are good, yes, but are their intentions good towards you? Okay, they miss being inside you, yeah, but you also have to tell this person like it's not about sex. Like you can't hurt me anymore. Okay, like so what? The you know the D is good, the P is good, whatever, but. I'm worth more than some good D or some good P, okay? Yeah, the connection is crazy, but at the end of the day, you need to love and put yourself first is what these cards are telling me, Scorpio, and what I'm getting in the reading. Yes, this person may love you for the potential outcome. Yes, there could be love there, but when I see the Queen of Cups ring first above it for what is yet to unfold, I see you being hurt again by this same person. I see a lot of hurt. I see pain, okay? So do keep that in mind. All right, um... Let's see how this five of cups is coming up in reverse. This is what they want from you. And you, it looks like you guys are moving away from the third party situation. Five of cups in reverse. Like you're hurting. But it's like at the same time, you're like, I need to move on from this. So let's see. Five of cups in reverse. Five of five of cups in reverse. The world card. And the three of cups. Yeah, you're putting an ending to a third party situation. Queen of cups. And you're telling this person like, if it can't just be us, if it just can't be me and you... Then I have to put an ending to it. But some of you guys do have new love that's coming in. And this is very odd. But it's like, and, and my belief is like, when you're going through this, the universe sometimes is not going to just bring somebody in like, boom, right away. You know, it's, um, to me, I feel like, you know, it takes time to heal and get over someone. So it's like, if we do meet love, like right away, they may be in our same vibration. It may be another lesson, etc. But when I see this, your heart has been so open. Your heart is ready for love. You're, you're like you want to be loved. Like you're ready for love, and it's like the universe. For some of you guys, it's gonna, it's not gonna. This part, I don't feel like it's gonna resonate with a lot of you guys or all of you. But it's like 
the universe is going to bring you guys in something great. Okay? And it's going to be instant. It's going to be right away. Okay? For others of you, the love is going to come in. It's going to take some time. But for others of you, it's going to be like, as soon as you shut the door, close the door to this, in this cycle, new love is going to just come in right away. All right? So let's see. Queen of Cups is in reverse. What is yet to unfold? Tower in reverse. That's you, Scorpio. Okay? Needing to let go, but having a hard time letting go. Okay? You don't want to endure the pain that comes behind this. All right? Yep. See the moon in reverse. Okay? For some of you guys, Scorpio, it's like you'd rather just stay in this third party or stay in this secret relationship or affair than to let it go. Because that's how much love you have for this person. You feel like it hurts hurt you worse to let go than it will to be to stay in it. And for others of you, you're staying in it because you are hoping that this person is going to commit to you. And then you see on the King of Pentacles how she's giving him the foot massage and loving and nurturing and caring for him. Some of you guys are like just in love with this person. Like you just can't help how you feel. You can't help how you feel about or towards this person. And you have accepted that you are in a relationship with someone that is already committed. And it's hard for you to let this go. And you don't want to let it go. Tower in reverse, not a cups in reverse, three of swords. See? It's like you rather, like you feel like it's going to break your heart to not have them in your life than to have them in your life. But either way it goes, you're, 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 you're heartbroken. It's, it's breaking your heart either way it goes. Not a cups is in reverse. Okay? So even if they come back or you keep it as this little secret affair or relationship, you're still hurting. Three of swords, you're still going to hurt regardless, okay? And that's why I love yourself first is there. So you're you're hurting yourself by staying. You're hurting yourself. You're hurting, your, you're, you're hurting by staying, and you're going to hurt by leaving. But it's like by leaving, it's allowing you to love yourself first, and you're going to heal from this, okay? All right? So the Ace of Cups is a potential outcome. For a pentacle reverse. Yep, some of you guys need to let it go. You know that it's toxic, okay? Or there's some karmic energy. There could be a soul contract. Or it can just be, you know, lust, obsession, temptation. Um, you love this person, but it's like at the same time, you know you need to let go. For a pentacle reverse, you need to let go. Yeah, three of pentacles, ace of cups. For some of you guys, you're going to work on your, your current relationship that you're in. For others of you, you're going to let this go. And I told you new love is going to come in. Okay, where someone respects you and they see your worth and value and they offer commitment. And it's not that this person doesn't respect you, but to me, I feel like, I don't know. I'm not even going to say that, but I just feel like this person is just, this is something that has been going on for some time. And you definitely feel friend zoned in this relationship, in this situation. Okay, even like I said, for some of you guys, you have accepted the fact that you're in a committed relationship with someone that is already in a committed relationship. But you're not getting the benefits of the committed relationship. Because they're in a committed relationship. So everything you guys have to do is in secret. You have to sneak. You know, and all that type of stuff. And you do feel friends on at times. Alright? And the devil came out twice. Okay? So let's pull additional messages. Let's see what they have to tell you or want you to know. Um, I will be extending your reading, Scorpio. Let's see, Scorpio. Additional messages for Scorpio. Okay, so some of you guys are needing to take a spiritual bath. Everything about you turns me on, and I think about you all day. So I do feel like there is some temptation here, some obsession, some lust somewhere in this situation. Because we have, um, I miss being inside you. We have the devil twice. Someone is definitely addicted to the sex or the way you guys make love to each other. They think about you all the time, okay? Everything about you turns them on. But some of you guys are needing to cleanse yourself and take a spiritual bath ASAP, Okay. Um, at the bottom, we have, I love you suspiciously. So you have your suspicions. Okay. It says, I hate to hear or see you cry. And then look, I'm going to rip your clothes off when I see you. Okay. So like I said, I feel like for some of you guys, you cry, you're hurting. You're telling this person how you feel. You're like, you know, I'm always suspicious of you, your behavior, activity. Why do you do this to me? And you're crying and you're trying to tell them how you feel. And they're trying to rip your clothes off and, and they're like, oh, I miss being inside you. And they're trying to get freaky and get nasty. And you're hurting and crying and stressing over this situation. All right, so that is what I have for you, Scorpio. Um, I will be extending your reading. I will pin the link in the comments below. I hope to see you all on the other side. Bye, loves.